What's going to be different about the season? So the season is happening, mm -hmm. and you guys are in spring training, summer camp 2.0 right now. Yes. And what's going to be different about the season? Well, first off, they're telling us that you can only have a certain amount of guys in the dugout, which is weird because we all sit in there and hang out and bullshit and whatever during the games. So now they're saying if you're not playing, you have to sit in the stands. So no there are going to be fans in and the stands, cheer. Oh, there are except they're going to be us. <laughs> Wearing our full uniforms. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, you, you should be allowed to change into something more relaxing. I right. Feel like. I mean, it's, yeah, it's odd. I told, I talked to Curtis the other day and I told him, hey, they also said we can go home, which is like not something that has ever been okay. So I told him, hey, I'm, I may never watch you throw live all year. And he's like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm just going to sit in the pool and watch you on TV <laughs> if I can leave. <laughs> Oh, because you wouldn't even have to be there because usually the bullpen's there and stuff, you mean. Right, the bullpen will still be out there, but us, we'll just, starting pitchers usually sit right there in the dugout and kind of hang out. So, if we can leave. Damn, it's almost like you think you'll miss that part? Yeah, you know what's weird is in Asia, that's like standard operating procedure for them. So, they leave what? Like, if they're not pitching, they're not there? Yeah, they go in during the, you know, during the afternoon, get their stuff done. An hour before the game, they just head out. But uh, we had a Korean guy, Hun Jin Ryu that he like hated watching games because he'd never done it in his wow. whole life and then he comes to america and like expected to stay forever <laughs> dude i'm not kidding you that guy would be out of the locker room within five <laughs> minutes of the last out i don't even think he showered at the field i think he just threw a shit on his roll <laughs> no he he's just, like i'm not even getting paid for this overtime. he's like i want to go to dinner <laughs> yeah. tell me a, a little bit more about some of the new rules that are going to be going on okay so they're saying we can't spit number really? one so oh, you watch a baseball ball. game, you you know people spit because so that's gonna, yeah, that's going to be interesting. They're saying instead of spitting, we're going to have a wet rag in our back pocket no. so we can touch that and then go to the ball because you need a little moisture sometimes. So we'll see how long that one lasts. I think um, obviously the dugout stuff because someone's going to spit immediately just by nature. Yeah, it, you don't even know you do it. Yeah, you know you just spit oh um so that'll be interesting is it a penalty if you spit or there's gonna be like somebody saying hey i think they spit. can fine you no yeah oh yeah fine you i don't understand why it would be a financial thing i think it's a bacteria in the air they believe i also know that if you hit a ground ball and more than two guys hit touch the ball so mm -hmm. you threw it mm -hmm. third baseman catches it throws it to the first baseman three guys touch it gotta get a new ball Uh uh. oh yeah <laughs> it's gonna be wild Oh my God! This is gonna be like the un Harlem Globetrotters, man. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It's gonna, be like. it's gonna be unbelievable. And so, are you concerned about how? Um, and now, hold on. There's more rules though, too. I read one that there is because I didn't know about these. Mm -hmm. So, but there's one where if you guys, you guys aren't gonna bat anymore. Correct. So the pitchers will no longer bat. Yes, which is a good thing. Bad thing. It's all. It's all good and bad because I we like to hit, but we all suck. Okay. So there's like two, <laughs> <laughs> like there's two pitchers maybe that can actually really hit. And right. We don't have any of them. Right, no right. offense to Kirsch or any of those guys. None of our guys can hit. Okay. So, but now I got to face another actual hitter. I don't get to face oh. myself, which is kind of a freebie a lot of the time. So yeah. So a lot of those guys in because the American League they have, they have the DH already. So they have the the pitcher never bats. Right. So, so they have nine professional hitters. So they have a so American League pitchers, it's harder for them to get a no hitter. For sure. Wow. Hundred percent. Dang it. Not shit. easy, regardless. Right. Easier in the National League probably. Um Okay, so I'm just thinking about these rules. This is so insane, dude. I almost feel like now I'm at the rodeo and it's, it's almost like we're not playing baseball anymore. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we're just yeah. playing like wiffle ball, but <laughs> um Okay, so now also there's a rule uh, if you guys go to extra innings mm -hmm. that they're going to put someone on second base. Yeah, so that that they've been doing that in the minor leagues for a long time, Okay, kind of testing it out. It'll JT actually came out and said he won a home run derby. And that's JT settle. Snow? Justin Turner, okay. our third baseman, big okay. red beard guy. Okay. He said he wants a home run derby to break the – break the Ooh. extra innings which i love i think it'd be hysterical at the yeah. end of the game everybody's all tired and <laughs> yeah, dirty yeah. we're just trying to hit homer yeah. um and that's what the extra innings are, really are because everybody wants to hit the walk off so everyone just tries to hit home runs all the time in the extra oh, innings really? anyway so um they've done this rule with the guy in second forever in the minor leagues trying to figure it out and now we're gonna give it a go in the big leagues i Dang. guess but it'll be interesting do you have any thought yeah like what are your thoughts on it I luckily have never like had to start an inning that I didn't let somebody on base and they just stuck somebody out there. But 
Um, there'll be pressure right out the gate because that guy's already there yeah and then there's like a million different strategies you know you can bunt or whatever to try and get him to third so he can score easier and it might be cool it might be a way for a pitcher finally to get back in the batter's box though because pitchers are pretty pretty good bunters typically and do but but you all but even if your team doesn't get to bat first you still get the bottom of that inning right yeah 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 because that almost seems like man you could easily get the yeah maybe it'll make it a little more exciting it might because sometimes these games just go on forever. I mean, yeah. We had that World Series game two years ago that went 17 innings, and I I threw the first seven of it. I was at the ballpark longer, not playing than I was, and I threw the ball really good. It was just took forever. We played. Shit, I got home at like three in the morning that Damn. day. Any other expectations you have going into the season? Does it feel like going into a regular season? Like absolutely not. It can't. It can't. We've been sitting at home for three months. You know what I mean? So. I don't know. Well, I hope we get all our games in. That'd be the biggest thing in the playoffs and all that. But with this, all the new COVIDs around, I got you know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And they are planning on traveling. That. Yeah. So what they did normally, we tr- we play every National League team. So we go to the East Coast back and forth all the time, which sucks because we get screwed on the time stuff. But we're only playing. I think we're only playing like the the NL West, so our division, and the AL West. So we're kind of staying out here, which will be nice travel-wise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of six hours flight, six hour flights to Washington and shit like that. But. So that so they're making it easy that way. There'll be nobody in the stands. Correct. What do you think, like, is that going to – is everybody still going to care about the game as much? It takes some of the ego out of it almost. Yeah, it takes some of the energy out of it for sure. You know, like, I think a lot of teams are talking about buying crowd noise or pumping crowd noise in there, so it feels a little bit – Oh yeah, more like it. I saw in Korea they're using sex dolls in the stands. Yeah, oh that'd be kind of cool. Um, Some teams I heard are you can pay fifty bucks and get a cardboard cut out of yourself put in the stadium. Wow, (laughs) which is kind of interesting. So you look up (laughs) just all these cardboard. That's cool. (laughs) Yeah, that's not a bad idea. No, but they're doing some they're doing some wacky stuff, especially over there in, in Korea. Wow. Yes, those were sex dolls cheering on a South Korean soccer team. Yeah, I think they got in trouble for that. Why? Some of those chicks are hot. <laughs> and they're wearing masks. <laughs> I know, dang. It's an interesting deal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and they're six feet apart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, a, that's an interesting one. Wow. Some on social media. Go back up to the top if you don't mind, Nick. Um, over the weekend, mannequins were placed in the stands for a match against Guangzhou FC. Some on social media already the telltale signs. Business logos for sex toy marketers. <laughs> We've tried to add some fun, he says. Fun in the no spectator <laughs> match. I like it kind of. I love the idea of having somebody be able to send a picture in or like get oh, themselves yeah. put in the stands like for a certain like as a, you could do that as a gift to somebody. Yeah. You know, like you're there. Yeah, happy birthday with three in Dodger Stadium. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> and maybe somebody that doesn't want to be there, it's like grandma, you know. Can you imagine open that for Christmas, it just says you have a cardboard cutout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never get to see it, yeah. you don't get to watch a game, but you might catch a glimpse on tv it's like almost yourself. like getting one of those stars it's like somebody buys yeah. you a star you're like oh thanks asshole or adopting some sea otter yeah yeah dude now i have to go outdoors at night i live in a dangerous neighborhood <laughs> yeah, we, should send, not... we should send michael landed oh yeah we yeah. should send michael landed <laughs> that's a great idea good evening good afternoon and other times thanks for watching that video you just saw i mean it was okay but the next video you could watch could be way better What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could. Watch this one. Or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!